Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly and the Monkey with the Wrench. Today we're going to be doing a very short video. I had this Troy built Mustang XB come in yesterday and it was diagnosed before it was even taken off the trailer. The owner says that he would be able to start it easily sometimes. Sometimes it was difficult to start. It usually ran for two to three minutes, then it would shut off. And then he could start it right away again and it would run for another two or three minutes and shut off. And I knew exactly what the problem is. In most cases, it's not an electrical issue. It's not even a carburetor issue. What it is, is a fuel pump issue. And I forgot to bring the part out, so let me pause this and I'll show you. It goes right there. Please subscribe. Now this goes for any kind of machine that you have that has a fuel pump. The fuel pumps all look the same. It's this uh, hockey puck looking thing, and it always has three hose ends coming off of it. They might be in slightly different positions depending on your model, but it's always the same. Whether it's any other brand, whether it's a riding mower like that Crapsman over there, doesn't matter. If it has a fuel pump, the fuel pump has to be actuated by a pulse that comes from your valve cover and goes through a short hose. That's what this hose right here is. This hose, and you see that double lip, that double lip is because the bottom portion goes inside of the valve cover and the top portion seals around the top of the valve cover. The valve cover goes in between that little uh, split there at the bottom. And this hose got old and split and what was happening was it was drawing air. When, it, when this thing pumps up like that, it goes like that onto this and it makes a pulse and that's what makes your fuel pump work. So if this thing's drawing air, that pulse is gonna be irregular or non-existent. And so it might run, it might start easily one day and the next time it won't start very much at all. It takes a while to get it to pulse. That's because this thing will kind of seal itself occasionally and kind of open itself back up. So what I did to show him real quick was I took some electrical tape, wrapped it around there to close that in and then I put that back in place to show him that was the problem. And I ran it for 45 minutes without an issue. So I went to the store and I picked up a new vacuum hose. That's what this is called. It's a vacuum hose. There's your part number. Check yours. They are sometimes different shapes, different lengths, that kind of thing. That happens to be on this 24 horse Briggs. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the new one and I'm going to work the bottom lip, this bottom portion of that crack, I'm going to work that right into this valve cover after I wipe that off so I don't get any dirt in there. And then we're just going to stick that back on the fuel pump and his problem is fixed. Alright, so all I'm going to do is wipe this dirt off the top of the valve cover. Try not to get it inside the valve cover if you can. Just to make sure you're not putting any dirt inside the motor. It doesn't need to be there. And get this bag open should be pretty easy to do uh, sometimes it's kind of hard you, you're gonna have to kind of crush it and bend it and twist it to get it in that hole and I might not really be able to show you how that works but I try and do it without having to take off the valve cover and usually if you work at it for just a minute or three you can get it to work probably gonna have to get a screwdriver sometimes you put the whole thing in you won't get the lip to separate around the valve cover that's okay as long as it's inside so it's in there now I'm just gonna put the other end on the fuel pump I'm gonna move the camera and show you in real time it's gonna take a second to start now because the valve cover or because the fuel line emptied out uh, after I took that off. So it is going to take a second, but I'm not going to pause the camera. I'm not going to put any cuts in there. And I'm going to show you that it'll start as soon as you get it switched. Without that vacuum line, your pump doesn't work at all. Put it in choke. That's all there is to it. It's crazy 
to think that a little vacuum line can cause that kind of an issue in your machine. And I bought that this morning at my local parts house. It was only a couple of bucks. I hope this helps. Make sure that you check that line if you have any kind of intermittent starting problems. You see it took zero tools to fix this thing. And now you know. G.I. Joe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the like button. The like button is the most important thing you can do for anyone's channel. Every time you hit the like button, it shows YouTube that it was a decent video. And then they'll know to show it to new people. So please hit that like button somewhere between my chin and my balls. And I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.